Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding maximize prime item inventory using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, Amazon wants to maximize the number of items it can stock in a 500,000 square feet warehouse. It wants to stock as many prime items as possible and afterwards use the remaining square footage to stock the most number of non-prime items. Okay, so firstly prime items and in the remaining space non-prime items. Write a query to find the number of prime and non-prime items that can be stored in a 500,000 square feet warehouse. Output the item type with prime eligible followed by not prime and the maximum number of items that can be stocked. Here are some few assumptions. Prime and non-prime items have to be stored in equal amounts regardless of their side or square footage. This implies that prime items will be stored separately from non-prime items in their respective containers. But within each container all items must be in the same amount. Non-prime items must always be available in stock to meet customer demand so the non-prime item count should never be zero. Item count should be whole numbers or integers. Okay, so basically we are given a table called inventory with four different columns, item ID, item type, item category and square footage, right? So here you have various, you know, different items, the type of uh, the category of the item and the square footage. So, and we need to find out the total number or a maximum number of prime eligible items that can be stored as well as the not prime eligible items that can be stored. But first preference should be given to prime eligible. So, and that is what you need to have in the output. So basically the first thing that we should do is from this table called infantry, we should, you know, group by the item type and see how many total number of different, you know, uh, item categories or items are there and what is the total square footage of it. This is because for each of, so since we need to make sure that first preferences should be given to prime eligible, right? So out of the 500,000 square feet that is available, how, what is the total square footage of the available prime eligible, uh, you know, products or categories, right? And then you divide the 500,000 by that total sum. So that is going to give you, okay, so these many prime item combinations can be stored. So what I'm saying is, let me, you know, that is probably made uh, more clear once we, you know, write the code and see the output. So let's, uh, from this table called inventory, let's group by, right? So let's group by the item type, right? And then return the item type, right? So return the item type, do a sum of square footage right square footage and let's alias this as you know total square footage right and then also count the number of items right so count the item id as right count the item id as number of items right number of items okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so basically not prime items so total there are four items that are not prime and the total square footage of them is 128.50 prime eligible there are six items and total square footage is 555.20 so to better understand it so consider this so there is one you know so there is one box right so there is one box with six items in it and that box is labeled prime eligible right and the square footage of that box is 555.20 now we are to give preference to prime eligible ones right so how do we know how many of those boxes which has six prime eligible items in itself can be stored you just divide the 500,000 square footage that is available for the warehouse by the square footage of the one prime eligible box right which is 555.20 right so that is going to give you the number of those big boxes labeled prime eligible right so that is what you have and now once you get those number of big boxes labeled prime eligible you multiply that by six or that is the number of items in each of those big boxes so that is going to give you the total 
you know items maximum number of prime eligible items that can be stored right and for not prime you can do the similar thing right so let let me you know uh, just uh, go ahead with this query okay so let's store this entire thing in a common table expression so with ct as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and now from this common table expression right from this common table expression let's go uh, you know let's fo focus on prime eligible first because we need to give preference to this right so from this common table expression where uh, item type right where item type is equal to prime eligible right is equal to prime eligible what should we do is let's return the item type and also the uh, number of items that can be stored so how can we do determine it so firstly the total available square footage is 500,000 right and 500,000 if we divide by the uh, you know the uh, to total square footage of one big box labeled prime eligible that is going to give you the number of such boxes that can be stored right so if i divide it by total sf right and this will divide for 555.25 only and not take this because we are you know keeping only those rows where item type is prime eligible right so out of this only this row is being taken care of in this in this section of the code right so this is going to give you the total number of such big boxes labeled prime eligible that can be stored but since if you see like so 500,000 divided by this this is a decimal point right so obviously it is going to give a value in fraction and obviously you cannot store a fraction of a box right so that is why we you need to use floor function to basically you know round it to okay so if if it says 100.2 so just take 100 because 0.2 you cannot store 0.2 of a box right so floor this right so that is going to give you what this is going to give you the total number of such boxes labeled prime eligible whose each total square footage is 555.20 so this is going to give you the total boxes and each of those boxes has six items right so you multiply it by number of items again how is it multiplying with number of items is equal to six because again we are only keeping this row right prime eligible one so this is should be labeled as what we have item count right so as item count okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so prime eligible the maximum number of items that we can store is 5400 now we need to do the same thing for non-prime right so what we can do is we can simply write you know union this thing right union this thing and uh, we can do the same thing that okay from this common table expression where right so where item type is equal to not prime right item type is equal to not prime return the item type right return the item type and now you need to make sure that okay how many such big boxes labeled not prime can be stored so you had initially 500,000 right so out of them you calculated the total number of big boxes uh, labeled prime eligible right and each of those prime eligible has 555.20 of square footage so obviously the remaining number or uh, the remaining square footage can be calculated as 500,000 so 500,000 which is the available for warehouse now you need to subtract you know the total number of big boxes that have been you know uh, stored as prime eligible because you have to give preference to prime eligible so we calculated that right so since now here you are only taking from city where item type equal to not prime so you if you directly write that so it is not going to take care of that right so you need to do okay return the uh, this thing right so 500,000 divided by total sf right it is just the same thing right 500,000 divided by total square footage which gives you the total number of right so this will give you the total number of such boxes right such big uh, prime eligible labeled boxes and then when you multiply it by the square footage of each of these right so square footage of each of these is total sf 
right from this common table expression where item type is equal to prime eligible right so where item type is equal to prime eligible so that is going to give you the total square footage occupied by all these prime eligible ones and when you, when you subtract that from 50000 that is the amount of square footage that is left for not prime right so once you get the amount of square footage that is left for not prime then what you can do is you can divide that entire thing right so divide that entire thing by the square footage of each of those boxes labeled not prime right so now you can now so this entire thing right so this entire thing is basically uh you know the amount the remaining amount of square footage available for those big boxes named not prime right and for each of the boxes that is not prime the square footage is you know total sf because we have already you know made sure that where item type is equal to not prime right so once you divide that so that is going to give you the total number of boxes and then each box had like whatever number of items you multiplied by that just like we did for prime eligible right so you did divide by total sf right so total sf and again since you know this can be decimal so this entire thing can come out to be decimal so you cannot store a decimal part or a fractional box not prime so you basically you should write floor of this entire thing right so floor of this entire thing and then multiply it by the number of items so that is going to be for not prime let me run this okay so we have for prime eligible 5400 and for not prime eight total items right and since uh, the question says that you know it should be prime eligible then followed by not prime we can just simply write you know order by item type in decreasing manner right because p comes after n in alphabetical order right so let me go ahead and run this again so prime eligible and not prime okay this looks good let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it again yes it is somewhat difficult question but what we did was you know firstly we found out that okay for each of the item types you know what is the total square footage and the number of items involved right so total square foot footage is basically a big box right which has been written prime eligible and not prime and each prime eligible has a certain number of items in it and each non prime eligible non prime is certain number of items in it so now since the uh, you know preference should be given to a prime eligible what we did was we made sure that okay wherever your item type is prime eligible so out of all the entire available space, 500,000, you divide the total square footage of one such box called prime eligible, right? And uh, since it can be a fraction or because you need to have whole numbers because that is a box that you need to store, you use the floor function and then you get the total number of such boxes labeled prime eligible and you multiply it by the number of items in each of those boxes labeled prime eligible and that that's how you get the total number of or the maximum number of total items that you can store for prime eligible similarly what you did was for not prime is out of the total 500,000 the you know you need to subtract like whatever area has been already covered by the prime eligible ones so you calculated okay how many boxes could be you know stored for prime eligible multiplied it by the total square footage of each of those boxes and when you subtract that for 500,000 that is the amount of area left for not prime and then you divide it by the total square footage of one such box labeled not prime so that is going to give you the number of boxes that you can store which is labeled not prime and each of those not prime boxes has number of items items inside it right so that is how you get the total number of item counts for prime eligible and not prime so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video